Today we're gonna make a simple and beautiful dish that I love to make all summer long, especially when I'm able to catch my own fresh fish. We're gonna make striped bass ceviche. Now I know ceviche can be a little bit of a controversial dish because basically you're eating raw fish. If you've ever had sunny side up eggs, you've eaten raw eggs. If you've ever had hamburgers and they're medium rare or medium pink in the center, you've eaten raw beef. If you've eaten oysters or clams or if you've had uh, a tuna, seared tuna and it's pink in the middle, you've eaten raw fish. Unfortunately, raw fish may have parasites in it. So if you're gonna make ceviche, whether you catch the fish yourself or you buy it from a fish market or from Costco, you really need to freeze it to minus four degrees for an entire week. Then you don't have to worry about parasites. But what about bacteria? Well, unfortunately the freezing process does not kill bacteria. That's why the health department wants us to always cook our meat, fish, chicken, eggs, well done. Because if you don't, there's always a chance that you might be exposed to bacteria or viruses. So if you're gonna be eating anything that's medium rare, or if you're gonna be eating anything that's undercooked, you need to know that you're taking a little bit of a risk. That's why if you go to a restaurant, there's a disclaimer at the bottom of the menu that explains that to you. That when you eat raw fish or you eat undercooked food, there is a potential for illness. That's my disclaimer. This fish here has been frozen to minus four degrees and it's safe and free from any kind of parasites. So I'm not worried about that. Chances are, if you purchase a fish fillet, more, th more likely than not, there will be skin on the fish. Even if you buy it from a fish market, usually, unless the, the, the fish market will remove the skin for you, it's, or if you buy it from Costco, there's gonna be skin at the bottom. So you gotta know how to take the skin off. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to take the skin off the fish. You cut a little bit down on an angle, until you hit the skin. You keep the knife at a 45 degree angle, and here's the trick, this is the most, the most important part. You don't wanna move the knife, you wanna pull the skin. You just take it nice and slow. Don't move the knife, just pull the skin. And as you do that, the fillet will re release from the skin. Just take your time doing it. I'm doing it nice and slowly just to show you. And the skin comes off and that was easy. When I make ceviche, I do not want to leave any red. So I'm gonna cut this, this dark meat out. This particular fish I caught myself and I prepared it on the boat in a fashion known as ikejime. Ikejime is a process of killing the fish. The Japanese came up with it. If you happen to get your hands on ikejime fish, it's the best way to eat fish. Why? Fish, when it's caught, if it dies on its own because it's out of the water, under pressure, because it's yanked out of the water from a net or in a cooler, the fish is under so much stress and duress that it continuously produces lactic acid. What that lactic acid does is it makes the meat mushy. So what does ikejime do? Ikejime stops the lactic acid from being produced and it also is a process where you bleed out the fish so that none of that blood is in the fish as it dies. At the end of this video, I'm going to sh share a link with you to another YouTube video where I learned how to prepare a fish ikejime style. If you're a fisherman, if you catch a fish, you need to prepare it ikejime because the, the flavor is immensely different than anything you've ever had if you haven't had it that way. It's, it's spectacular. I, I will not bring a fish into my house that I've caught myself if I have not prepared it ikejime. The video that I'm going to share the link to, that's a great video, but it's also done on land and it's a little unrealistic. If you're on a small boat and you don't have a giant cutting board, it's not the same way. It's a little bit more challenging. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I prepared this striped bass ikejime. It, it, disclaimer, it's not a pretty sight. So there'll be a warning label, and if you see that warning label and you don't want to see the process, just skip past it.
Now when you're cutting the celery, make sure you keep those leaves. Those leaves are precious. They impart a much more delicate and flavorful aroma. The ceviche is just a few basic ingredients and it's a pleasure and a joy to make. It's gonna go in the refrigerator now for a minimum of two hours. You'll see that the meat will turn white because of the acidity in the lemons and the limes. That's your cue that you can eat it. I would probably keep it in the fridge maybe no more than a day or two, maybe two days maximum. And then, uh, and then I would toss it. Um, if you want a detailed recipe for what was shown here today, please go to awarehousechef.com. That's where you can find all of my recipes. And please hit that subscribe button so that you can know when my other up and coming videos are out, which is usually every Thursday night. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.